Before I made YouTube videos, I would always play The Sims growing up, but I would actually play with multiple households. So I wouldn't have just one family that I would always play. I would have families that interact with each other and I'd constantly be jumping around from house to house, creating all the drama, like drama worthy for the real housewives or something. For The Sims 4 high school years, I thought I would do the same thing and create a series of households. I've done it in some past gameplay series like Hampton Falls, for example, um, but I haven't done it for a while just because I got to feel creatively inspired and some of you guys will be happy to hear I'm feeling creatively inspired today. Well, all week. I've been working on this like the last few days. So yeah, today we're going to be creating a house for one of the families, hopefully in our LP or gameplay. So jumping into it, I've got a nice big lot here. This is going to be one of our more affluent families. Um, this is the Rust family. We've got Dr. Arvin Rust here. And the idea is they put a lot of pressure on their kids to be really successful in terms of their academic abilities. So it's not that they don't care about them. It's just they want their kids to have a really successful future. Annalise is a very successful lawyer. And they've got Savannah Rust here. Savannah really isn't interested in academics. She wants to be a trendsetter. So she's gonna be like a stylist, maybe get into acting as well on the side. And then her brother, Caden, he is just a rebel. Like his way of dealing with parents who have high expectations is to rebel against them because they're so strict. So that's the family we're working with today. Uh, Kaden is either a klepto and a party animal, which is kind of funny because this family is going to be loaded with cash. So he still steals stuff, not because he needs the items and can't, can't afford them, but because he just wants to break the rules. So for their house, I'm thinking for, you know, a doctor and a lawyer who are very like, you know, we like academia, we like to be kind of serious, you know, I don't want their house to be too eccentric. I know this is the longest intro ever, but I think it's good to show you guys. Sometimes I draw floor plans. <laughs> just hit myself in the head. Uh, the only thing with these lots is I still really wish there were driveways or a path. And because this could potentially be a larger save file, I kind of want to make sure that yes, it's a big home, but also it's going to perform in my game well and not lag too much. So that's always an interesting thing to try and do. I think we could do like an L-shaped staircase situation. Oh, sorry, U-shaped here maybe. Um, perhaps we could have like a smaller study here. Actually, let's just do one of my favorite things, which is to check the scale of our floor plan by putting in some furniture. Um, so let's see. I mean, usually for a bigger home, I feel like you want to be able to fit two, three seaters in maybe. So I've definitely made this way too small, so I'm glad we checked. Then if we do a staircase, uh, how high are these walls? Well, they, we probably want at least second height walls. And I mean, actually this could be a bathroom right here because we do need to have a landing. Also, this seems like so squished in, does it not? Like it needs another tile. Otherwise, what's the point of having a U-shaped staircase kind of deal? Okay, I mean, that's okay. So far, I like the scale. So then down here would be our living area. Well, it would be like kitchen, dining. So let's just make sure a dining table in. Or actually, a dining could be here. I mean, it'd be ideal to have the dining room all the way down here, but I feel like this is such a big distance to have to walk. Oh, maybe it's not so bad. But we could put like a bar situation there, maybe. Oh, we could even do a Bartler's pantry. Bathroom's there. I mean, this is not a bad idea. Like this is definitely a different floor plan to what I've done before. So then you'd have another lounge room over here, which doesn't have to be as big. Although it's kind of nice to have bigger lounge rooms. Then you have your casual dining because this family is pretty wealthy. You know, they have both. God, I couldn't even imagine having two dining areas. Like that's amazing. Then this would be the butler's pantry. And in case you don't know what a butler's pantry is, it is such a cool thing. It's basically like where you can put your appliances. It's hidden away a little bit. You have your pantry in there. You can even have your fridge in there or a second fridge. 
And it's like, sir, the ugly things don't have to be on display, essentially. At least that's my understanding of it and how I've seen it used in Australia. Um, perhaps if you had staff to cook your meals, they would use that area. I have no idea because I will never have that or know what that's like, but maybe that's also a thing. With this home, we could have some modern elements. I'm just wondering, like, does the butler's pantry need to link to the dining area or does it not? I'm not sure. We'll put a door there as like a maybe. We'll put it in the maybe pile. Um, and then we'll have like a lovely kitchen island here. I actually am kind of loving this layout. You know what? Do you guys think it needs to be wider? I think this does need to be a little wider. I think it's just looking that little bit too squishy. Yeah, now this island will have room to breathe. And obviously this isn't our final choices for furnishing. This is just base holder. What do all really expensive homes have in common? Fireplaces. People cannot get enough fireplaces. I'm gonna go to town and have fun with a bit of CC. I mean, this is for my LP. So I do wanna have fun with the storylines. Okay, so there's one in the formal dining area. There's one in the casual lounge, the main lounge. Oh my gosh, so much space. Imagine having to clean all of this. That would be crazy. Um, all right, and also in terms of where we actually put our house, thank God we can just move the house around. Back in other Sims games, you couldn't pick up the house and just move it around. That wasn't always a thing. And well, like I said before, I'm not really thrilled with the fact that we have no driveway or pathway to the house, but we're just gonna have to make do because there's not enough, enough big lots in the world for us to pick a different one. Okay, moving upstairs. I actually think we may be running into an issue here with our stairs because I, I don't know if there's going to be enough room for bedrooms. We may have to make it not the double staircase. I mean, not the separated staircases, but instead a double staircase because this makes it a lot easier for me to just, you know, not have to take up as much space for the landing. Let's just get rid of this flooring here so we can see below, which is beautiful. Oh, why aren't you cooperating with me? What would you guys do if I actually just had like the farmer fence here? <laughs> Don't worry, we're not doing the farmer fence, it's okay. Okay, so obviously right here is going to be a gorgeous bedroom. Like this could be a huge master wing. I mean, I think, Think. Ooh, do we want to have this entrance open? It would be pretty nice if this is all double story right here. We'll see. We'll see. And I feel like this family probably wouldn't have a butler, but they would have a housekeeper or like cleaners or whatever, just because it is such a big home. Also, this should probably be slightly inset too. All right, this can't be the main bedroom. I'll tell you why, because there's not enough room for a decent sized bathroom. I mean, by all means, we could extend it, but it's just gonna be a weird shape here. One here, it's gonna be awkward. I say this is one kid's bedroom. We can do a bit of a walkway situation. This is a stunning view this way, so maybe we do the main bedroom over this side. And you know, they can have the walk-in wardrobe over here, and then it goes, you walk through that, and then you get to the gorgeous bathroom. It's just, it's just huge, this house. So that can be the master bedroom. This can be like their little ensuite, but big bedroom as well. Uh, and then technically we only really need one more bedroom. So I'm not really sure how, what we'll do with all of this space, maybe office or something. Uh, but we can definitely work with a bedroom down here. God, this is gonna take us so long to furnish. Uh, bathroom here, upstairs, main bathroom, like a bathroom anyone can access and this can be a study over here. Whoa. I always have to just put mass roofing over the top at the end because I always end up with so many holes. Wow, that's a big box. But we'll make it work, okay, we'll make it work. I think we should have French doors all along this wall. I love the Monstera by Grim Cookies. I feel like the Sims should really add some doors that look like this into the game. Cause these are, these are pretty basic looking and just really handy to use. And you know, we could do like a balcony situation upstairs. So maybe there's a French door out of this room and the office. And that's definitely an easy way to make it look a little nicer. These pillars are very traditional. I'm gonna try and build a traditional American looking home. And bear with me because I am Australian 
and this is not something I'm the most familiar with in terms of aesthetics. Do you bear with me? But the main thing is that we try, right? Can we even dip this in slightly? How would that look? It takes up too much room. I think we're gonna have to shift our whole house back. Just had. I've also experimented a little bit with the curved walls and you know I am finding them to be a little glitchy. I mean I definitely need to experiment more but I'm not sure if I'm a huge fan of using them. Does it look weird having these pillars just go to the grass area? Should there be like foundation all along here? I kind of feel like there should be. And then what do these become? Little flower beds? That would be cute. Well, it is starting to come together, folks. We've just got to figure out how to roof this thing, which is always <laughs> the worst part of building. Roofing's always so hard. Ooh, we could do a curved kind of a thing. This is a really American thing in my opinion. I don't know though, but whenever I think of like American films, Father of the Bride, Home Alone house, they always have these like curved entrances. I mean, it's probably a thing all around the world. TBH. All right, how do we roof this? I'm wondering if we go like this. Whoa, imagine the attic upstairs. It would be huge. Very good if it was snowing to protect the house. Whoa, I was thinking of doing this with the dorm things, but it's so thick. Maybe we're better off just doing this kind of a thing. Oh God, the house, the roof is so big. Oh dear. Would it be weird to put one long dormer on top? That's a little strange, isn't it? That looks strange. That's odd. I'm not doing that. Okay, so I've just had a little bit of a break. It's um, a couple of days later since building. That's why I'm in a different top, if anyone wants to know. <laughs> but anyway, I did work on the house off camera a little bit. And you know, I think it's looking really good. I just want this house to say, we are a very nice family and we are also loaded with money. So yeah, it's a big house. And I don't know, in Australia, how do I explain this? In Australia, everything's like super expensive. So sometimes if you travel overseas, you see big houses and they're probably in a lot of areas, a lot cheaper than what you would get in Australia. Um, cause like a house of this size would be like, whoa, mansion in Australia. Whereas maybe in some areas in America, it's not as expensive. I don't know. Anyway, this would be very, very expensive in Australia. So, um, yeah, I've just done, I've left all the good rooms. Nobody panic to furnish with you guys, but because it is such a big home, I have gone ahead and done a little bit of, um, like the entrance room and the hallways and a little bit of wallpaper and fireplace uh, placement. But don't worry, we're doing all the, the good bits together. So that's kind of where we're at. And I'm also going to list in the description down below um, all of the CC that I've used. So you, if you guys want to down, download this house as it is, you can. Um, but I will say the wallpapers are from the small SMOL collection by Charlie Pancakes. I really, really love these. So um, let's start with this big family room at the back of the house. This is really nice because it's got such big French doors. Um, I really love that. And then kitchen wise, do we want to add any more custom content or do we want to use what's already in the game? So I've just got a few counters out here. This one is from a kitchen collection by Harry. This one's from the Monk collection by Charlie Pancakes. This one here is by Tuds. Uh, this is a new one. And then this one's by Max 20. I mean, they're all great counters. And maybe this one looks, I mean, does the gold maker look more expensive? Because this house would have a pretty expensive kitchen. You know what? I reckon we should use the Max 20 counters. I reckon we either go the gray with the black handles and the white tops or the gold. I think the gold's nice with these floorboards. I mean, either or works, but let's go with these. Also, I don't know if I've actually used these before. Uh-oh, do we not have a matching island? It's okay, it's okay everyone, there is a matching counter. Nobody panic. Beautiful. So we can put these in here. So I, I talk about this a lot, but I don't know if it's because I like, oh, look at that end piece. That end piece is so beautiful um, and different. It's a little bit different, isn't it? So I grew up with a dark, like black kitchen and I absolutely hate <laughs> dark 
dark black kitchens. I mean, look, if I go to your house and you have a black kitchen, I'm not gonna be like, oh my God, but I would never have it for myself. Like I would just be like, oh, it's, it's not for me. Um, so yeah, my mom used to always say how much she disliked our black kitchen and she, we didn't have money to change it. So we just lived with it. But um, I think it's because of that, because she always disliked it so much. It kind of was passed on to me the same, the same thing. <laughs> so yeah, but even though I personally do not like them, I do think they suit certain homes, such as this one, very well. It's always so exciting to see what kind of cabinets um, come with CC cupboards. Like if you pick the different corners and pieces, I have to move these down. Just to keep it simple to download, I will just use uh, Max's kitchen stuff. I kind of feel like this these cupboards are too high, but I like the windows. I'm torn. Ooh, this is the range hood that goes with the kitchen. Okay, cute. Oh, and this is the oven and stove to go with it. Oh, wow, look at the glass cabinet sides. Isn't that nice? Really impressed by these. Maybe do like a tile behind here. Well, the other option is why don't we just take out the windows completely because this just looks nice. I mean, there's plenty of light in this place anyway. So with this house, like, the, the parents, one is a doctor or a surgeon and the other one's a lawyer and they're very, very wealthy. They're super duper strict as well. So their kids, the storyline is their kids are kind of wild because they rebel due to their strict upbringing. So I think their house should reflect that like need for order, and cleanliness and all of that. So everything's gonna be kind of overly perfect. So we do things like we have matching rugs. We have maybe more conservative traditional furnishings. Just going to be all very proper. I just do these like parenthood chairs. Ooh, we definitely need some nice pendant lights too. What do we do in the lounge area? Oh yeah. We'll do cottage living. Do we want to tie in the black to the kitchen? Or we'll keep it, we'll keep it light and bright. There we go. Very nice. These roses are really great if you want a little hint of purple, which obviously we do in this lounge room. Because the whole thing is looking a bit purple. Oh, and I think this couch has a purple-ish vibe as well. Uh, that's pretty good. Is this like an outdoor lamp situation or an indoor lamp situation? I think this is like an outdoor situation. Oh my lord! The Sims have gotten into some food whilst I've been gone. Maybe this table should be... Yeah, we'll do the black table. Tied in with the kimchi. Do a bit of a stone feature wall here on both... Oh, actually doesn't look as nice in that room. Works in this room. Do we want to add curtains? Look, I feel like we totally could put curtains in this room. But again, I'm just thinking a little bit about gameplay. What would we rather have? Curtains or more seamless gameplay? Let's let's not do the curtains. This would be a beautiful house to come home to or to visit. I reckon it, it would be some of, some of you would say this is your dream home. I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but I, I feel I believe that. Like it's got that perfect family home vibe to it. Okay, this needs something on the wall. Maybe this big doggy picture. That's pretty cute. Okay, that's a nice, you know, big, long family room. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot. We just built the butler's pantry. That was the whole like awesome thing about this house. So um, we don't have to even have the fridge here. Butler's pantry. Ooh. So this is like the, the pretty area, the presentable area. So this is cute. And then over here, it's like, this is practical. When people are coming over, if I had a butler's pantry in my house, I would just like throw everything in here quickly <laughs> before people arrived. <sighs> Lol. I think we'll do, I mean, honestly, in real life with a butler's pantry, we'd probably have like so much storage. Um, do we wanna do storage on both sides? Let's just do it on one side. And then we have room for all the appliances you could ever want. Delhi saves game performance by deleting curtains, then places as many kitchen appliances as possible. Priorities. I think we need a popcorn machine. Ah, oh, love, love. Okay, now what was this? Oh, this is our formal dining. Okay, so this is like our breakfast dining, then we have our formal dining. I know you guys are watching this in the same video, but for me it's been like two days since I filmed, so I'm catching up again. I don't usually do, but I've been working really hard on the new LP and 
And, you know, I say I'm working hard, but also I'm just enjoying the development of all the characters so much. It's kind of felt more like time off, to be honest, but it's also planning for videos. Would this be too much? Yeah, that's kind of weird because it's like wedding chairs. These are really beautiful. I feel like these. Although if it's formal dining, like how fancy do we want to be? Real fancy. <laughs> I know these chairs are kind of different, but I kind of like the vibe of them being a little mismatched at the ends. Family is really into their manicured hedges. These are real. They have a gardener who comes in and like shapes them. If you have a gardener who waters your indoor plants, I feel like you've made it in life. Actually, you know what the dream would be? The absolute dream I feel like would be to have a really fantastic trusted housekeeper that you work with that you know they're just on top of everything they're just that extra set of hands when you don't have time that would be so cool okay so this was gonna be so this is our casual lounge um this will also be a formal lounge do we want it i feel like the green's quite nice this rug is a little bit more modern maybe it's a bit much for this house ah oh, now i really want to use this couch again hmm oh what about this couch the only thing is the cushions. The cushions really spoil this couch for me because it's, I'll get it out again, because it's got this like floral print that could be seen as a little bit traditional, but really edgy cushions, which totally goes with the maximalist kit that this came with because it's like clashing patterns. But sometimes, sometimes you just want like it to be used in a more traditional sense. I mean, we do have this one, which is more plain. Just, I don't feel like it goes with the rest of the house. How can we go base game? Trusted, always performs, always gets the job done. Can't go wrong with base game, can you? My base game's pretty, pretty well rounded. I've got to say, I stand. I am actually thinking of tossing the windows here as cute as they are and just having, oh, those look so short. Oh, what happens if, we do the bookshelves with like mini windows on top. There, I mean, that's kind of cool because the ceilings are really quite big, quite high. I love high ceilings. This is a fabulously green room. Kind of love it. Ooh, actually let's do like a Brindleton Bay. All right. Oh, fine, I'll add curtains. Now that I've add, added some curtains, I feel like I have to add more. We'll, we'll add them to this room as well. Kill for color wheel in this room though. Oh God, that looks so bad. Okay, well, we're not putting it in that room. <laughs> All right, so that's basically the downstairs done. Let's maybe put a bunch of flowers on the table. Gorgeous. Go upstairs and we'll get started on the bedrooms. Okay, so starting with the parents' room, I feel like the parents' room should just be a little bit on the boring side. Not saying by any means that all lawyers and doctors or surgeons are boring people, because that's completely obviously not true. But I just feel like these parents are going to be very reserved, very strict, and not really interested in loads of color. They just want everything like nice and practical and neat. I mean, this is a nice bed, a bit fancy. Oh, those curtains work well. I'm really loving the love we have for base game in today's build. You know, the rug, the bed, the end of the bed. Although you guys are probably gonna be like, the bed isn't from base game. It is, I got that right. Usually I get it wrong, but I got it right. Now we can do a nice, you know, dresser. There's always that scene in movies with the kid or the teenager getting ready at their mum's dresser. I always wanted to do that, but my mum never had a dresser. You know, I, I do love the idea of a dresser. But number one, you need space for it. And number two, the thing that I need is like a sink built into the dresser, which would look absolutely bizarre. Um, but I just make such a mess with makeup that I need a sink to constantly wash my hands. But I think other people are happy to kind of get up and go wash their hands and sit back down, or some people just aren't as messy as I am. I'm gonna make it look like this footstool goes with this chair, even though don't think it does kind of work. We need all these lights. Now we'll, we'll have a down light. Okay, so that's the parents' room. Quite nice. Okay, next up, let's do Savannah's room. So Savannah, the character I have in mind for Savannah is they're a little, a little bit rebellious. You know, they rebel the strict rules um, their parents put onto them. And I think she's also a very fashionable sim too. She's very pretty and she's also like, 
popular. So she's got to be kind of cool in her bedroom. Um, but then also she's not like the queen bee. She's a threat to the queen bee, but she isn't the queen bee. But they're best friends. Oh, sneaky little wallpaper there. Oh, does this come in a double width? Uh-oh. Why don't we do these floral curtains? Because they go with the bed frame, that gold color. Oh, and also the teenagers have single beds, not because of money, but because they have quite strict parents. So they want them in single beds, just to make it very clear to them that there's no funny business under their roof. They have a gold computer. Oh, I also keep forgetting about the doors. So we have matching doors with different stickers and things on them. So this one, oh, okay, this one's got like things drawn on it. Maybe this one, this one's quite cute. She painted her door. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, my parents are so strict, I'm just gonna do what I want. You know what I think will fit perfectly onto this? That is the shoes from Dream I'm Decorated. No, <laughs> they don't fit up there. I mean, we can just put them there. Well, we can put the makeup stuff on there. Although, actually, you know what? That would make more sense being at the top and then using the nine key and sit on the bottom like that. And we can just have lots of belongings. Savannah's family got that money, honey. Oh, actually, we should use the stylist station from Get Famous because we have this that we can dress sims on oh and also the actual styling station okay we're running out of room perhaps we can get rid of one wardrobe we can put these the other way so it creates a backdrop oh and i love these lights i have to use these lights that's so cute it's like a little stylist corner okay that's pretty sick bedroom there's also near or well, actually is it at savannah's brother's room yeah he can actually escape down the terrace here because that's actually a little ladder. So last of all is Caden's room over here with the, well, with the tree going through it. Not ideal. So Caden is a jock, rebellious, dating the most popular girl in school. I think Caden likes a bit of color and a bit of fun. I think he's also the kind of guy to have a picture of an attractive sim on the wall. <laughs> like this is, I guess, the closest to pinup girl style. So we'll pop that in. Definitely the kind of sim to graffiti their walls. I'm personally not a fan of TVs and bedrooms, but I do feel like Caden would have one in his bedroom. So Caden has like an expensive TV, the best computer you can buy. Money is not a problem, but sometimes when everything is given to you, you don't learn how to try hard, which might be the case for Caden, like a little bit uninspired because everything's just, he's just being really spoiled. So he's like, well, there's no point doing well at school. I can probably just get a job with my dad. Although maybe they can have a bit of a passion for music and DJ. Okay, that's pretty cool. All right, so I think this is finished now. So let's do a grand tour. So this is the front of the house. I do wish that it had a path, <laughs> but that's okay. We'll just have to pretend. Uh, so that's the front. It's meant to look like your perfect family home. Um, but yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool. So when you walk in the front door, it's pretty dramatic. Got a beautiful double size ceiling um, and a pretty gorgeous, like stunning stairway going up. So it definitely looks like an affluent home to me. You've got the formal living in here, very green. Across from there, we have our beautiful formal dining area. This is where strict conversations happen that uh, windows just glitched out. If we go through here, we go to our casual dining or breakfast dining area, our casual family room and our beautiful kitchen. And then of course you can walk through there to the dining area or you can go through here and this is the butler's pantry. Loving these big French doors. They go out to a lovely patio, little area where you can sit and eat or if you go down here, uh, this is the pool area and you actually can see the, the festival or the fair over there. Uh, so very nice, luxurious. I would have liked there to be more like outdoor area, but we were a little restricted with the lots. Um, there are definitely small lots in this park. This is what the bathroom looks like. The main, go toilet in here. And let us go upstairs. 
Now these are the stairs you wanna walk down to meet your prom date downstairs who's picking you up. All right, just here we've got Savannah's room. Oh, hello. Um, so Savannah's room is a bit of a mess. They love clothes, they love fashion, they love color, um, and they wanna be a stylist or a fashion designer. So they have everything they want at their fingertips. Then just through here, they have their bathroom. Just over here, this is the study. So we've got a few doctor career objects um, and lawyer career objects, telescope, stunning view outside. This is blue chip real estate. What's in here? This is another bathroom with a bathtub. And uh, we'll go down here. Here's Caden's room. Nice and colorful, lots going on, very cool. Caden's really tried to make it their own space. Hangout chair, awesome view, awesome view. Oh my God, look at that. Imagine that outside of your window. And then a little sneak out area. Uh, and then just through here, this is the parents. Very clean, very proper room. They also have a balcony out there. Lots of balconies, stunning walkthrough wardrobe. And then quite a big bathroom over here as well. So there you go, you guys. This is the house right near the fairground. <laughs> Potentially be a little bit noisy. Um, oh, actually, I don't know, maybe not so bad. But I guess it's blue chip real estate, baby, with those views. So let me know what you think of the house. Let me know what you think of the families. Um, if you want to download this house, I will put it on the gallery and list the CC in the description down below. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I cannot wait to speak to you all soon. Doc, doc.